Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with mcfitmethod.com and this is your McFit 365 workout of the day. Now today's workout is five rounds for time and it starts with that jump rope. So I'm gonna head back here, I'm gonna grab my RX Smart Gear jump rope. And like I said, we're gonna start off with the jump rope here and we're gonna begin with 40 double unders of that jump rope. That is two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. So it looks like this. So you notice I mean two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. Always maintain proper form here, guys. Keeping those feet together, jumping on the balls of your feet, keeping those elbows in close to your sides, and we're rotating that rope just with our wrists, keeping that chest up. Now you're gonna go ahead and do 40 double unders. If you wanna uh, go ahead and do just single unders, scale that down a little bit, you'll just do twice as many. So you're gonna do 80 rotations of just your basic single unders with that jump rope. Now also, if you choose not to do the jump rope, there is an option of just doing 60 jumping jacks. So if you choose not to do the 40 double unders or the 80 singles, you're just gonna do 60 jumping jacks as an alternative to that jump rope or as another option. So basically your hands just touch above your head and then your hands touch down by your hips or behind your back. So one, two, three, we're gonna do 60 of those jumping jacks as an option to that jump rope. Once you've completed either the 40 double unders or the 80 single jumps or that optional 60 jumping jacks, we're gonna move on to 20 dumbbell deadlifts. So I'm gonna head over here, I'm gonna grab a couple of dumbbells here. Now we're gonna do 20 dumbbell deadlifts, starting from that ground position. So palms should be facing in towards your hips when you're holding these dumbbells. And to initiate that uh, deadlift, you're first gonna send those hips back, and then you're gonna slightly bend those knees, keeping that chest up the entire time, really engaging that core, making sure the knees track out over your toes too. So you're gonna be in a nice squat stance here, hip or feet a little bit, about shoulder width apart here, but making sure that your knees aren't caving in when you're doing that deadlift. So open up those knees, make sure those knees are tracking out over those toes and you're gonna stand fully upright with those dumbbells opening up those hips to the top and then you're gonna reverse that movement by once again sending those hips back then slightly bending at those knees keeping the chest up the entire time. So getting in position here, grab these dumbbells, chest up, knees tracking out over those toes, stand fully upright opening up those hips to the top and then you're gonna reverse that sending those hips back keeping that chest up, touch the dumbbells at the ground and we're gonna end up doing 20 dumbbell deadlifts. Once you've completed 20 of those dumbbell deadlifts, we are immediately gonna move into 10 dumbbell thrusters. Now a thruster is a position where you're gonna have two dumbbells in the front rack position, so right up here in front of your chest, right on your shoulders, palms facing slightly inwards here, and you're gonna be going down into a squat position. So your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than hip width apart. Once again, when you go in that squat position, making sure that your, toe or your knees are tracking out over the top of your toes, and we're not caving inward here, so keep that open. Chest up once again, we're gonna have those dumbbells in that front rack position. You're gonna squat until your hips go down below knee level, and then you're gonna stand up, opening up those hips at the top, and then the final motion is those dumbbells end up overhead. But it's one full fluid motion. So what you're gonna end up doing here is really using the power of your lower body to generate a lot of momentum to then bring those dumbbells up overhead. It's not from the squat position, stand up, and then do a strict press. We want it one fluid motion all the way up. Then once again, when you reverse that to start your next rep, when you're going into that down position, once again, we don't wanna stop the dumbbells here and then go into a squat. As those dumbbells are coming down, you're initiating that squat, knees are tracking out over those toes, hips are back, weight is back in those heels, and then all the way up. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna grab my two dumbbells here, put them up in the front rack position. I'm gonna go down in that squat, and you're gonna see that as I go in the squat, I press up, that's one rep all the way up, no pause, one fluid motion. And then as I repeat back down, arms are coming down, going to that squat position. Two, three, so you'll see it's one fluid motion all the way up and down. We're gonna do 10 of these dumbbell thrusters. Then after you've completed 10 of those, now we're gonna move over to the pull-up bar over here. We're gonna do five pull-ups. So over at the pull-up bar, you might have one that's mounted to the wall here. You might also have one that's mounted in your doorway. If you're unable to do it, uh, an unassisted pull-up, what you can do is wrap a band around that bar, place one foot in that band, and that's gonna give you a little bit of assistance to pull your chin up over that bar. So we're gonna do five pull-ups here, palms facing forward, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna go ahead and jump up on this bar, full hang position. You're gonna go ahead and pull that chin up over the bar, and then all the way back down. All the way up, all the way back down. Just a set of five of those pull-ups. 
Once you've completed five of those pull-ups, that completes one round of this workout. So one round is either 40 double unders, 80 single jumps, or the 60 jumping jacks. Then we're moving into those 20 dumbbell deadlifts, 10 dumbbell thrusters, five pull-ups, and you're gonna repeat that sequence for a total of five rounds. So that is your McFit 365 workout of the day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Good luck, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the next workout.